what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and i would like to apologize before we get into what i'm going to be talking about for this video uh it is currently 8 37 p.m at the time of recording this and i'm supposed to have a video uploaded by 8 30 unfortunately it's going to be postponed for about an hour or so maybe i'm not sure but what i wanted to do is kind of just showcase my new album a little bit because i'm releasing a new album at the end of the month a little bit before my birthday i'm turning 24 years of age and uh, I have a few songs made so far, and I'm just giving a little sneak peek. The rest are going to be secrets until it's fully released. It's going to have maybe 12, 13 songs on the album in whole. And I kind of just wanted to show what I'm working with so far. And you can't really see the list right now because I'm on the screen where you see a song on the screen known as Thorn in My Side. It is currently unreleased. It is going to be the first song on my new upcoming album, The Pressed at the Party. Um, basically a lot of these songs, basically all of them that you're listening to today, or you're going to be listening to the previews for, they're all unfinished. I need to add ad libs. I need to do volume control to make sure that you guys can hear my vocals over the beat enough to where it sounds good. And it doesn't sound like the beat is too overwhelming. And as you're probably guessing, if you know what kind of music I make, yes, it is a hyper pop album. Pretty much my plans uh, were ruined for what I had scheduled music-wise. I was going to release a rock EP with eight songs this month, but with the issue that happened with the Mad album with a song that was on it uh, called Strong and just with lack of motivation to release it, Mad will probably be out later. But as of right now, Depressed at the Party is what I'm working on and I'm going to be showing you guys basically what I've been working on. So this song that you see on the screen here, this is Thorn in My Side. Basically, it is a song about negativity and like negative people that come into your life and impact you. And they basically feel like a thorn on like in your side. And you're just kind of like hating yourself for it because you're tired of dealing with it. That's pretty much what this whole song is about. And um, we're going to hop right into this. So we got Thorn in My Side. Let me get to the part. Oof. I think it's uh, right here. The yeah, right here. So this is uh, the preview I'm going to show you from here until the end of the chorus. Let's get started. There's always a pain. I'm always overstimulated. Hard to fucking reach. As I go my teeth. And I'm falling. So that was the preview I'm showing for Thorn in My Side. I did try to do something a little bit different and I tried to get myself to do like a metal scream in there and I think it came out pretty okay. Um, but it was kind of just a work in progress. It's a very experimental song and I do like how it's coming out. So Thorn in My Side is going to be the first song on the press of the party. Hopefully we can go back. I'm hoping Band Labs doesn't have any issues because Band Labs has been hella problematic lately when it comes to loading things. We have the title of the album itself, The Pressed at the Party, and this is the song, The Pressed at the Party. Yep, I knew it. I absolutely seen that coming. Band Labs has been quite shit lately. As you can see, I tried to load it, and it's like, oh my god, why? This is so annoying. I hate it. See, look, it, it doesn't load. This is why people are starting to leave Band Labs and this and that, and it's being really annoying please. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So the press of the party, it's a more kind of like a boppy emo fun song, I guess. Kind of just made for like the emo vibes, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to show y'all a um, preview of this. I think we got to go. So yeah, that's Depressed at the Party. Just like a fun little emo song about being depressed at the party. And, you know, it's kind of just about like looking at yourself very negatively. 
and being very expressive about that and you were like invited to a party so you're just depressed at the party there's gnats in my face i hate gnats so much and i do not know why they've become such a problem but oh my god um yeah depressed at the party it's all right it's just a catchy little emo song in my opinion moving on we have voicemail please load thank you all right so voicemail is one of the shorter songs on the album it's a minute and 38 seconds long i'm gonna show you guys this i think we gotta go here please oh i got to leave a message to say how i feel So that's voicemail. Uh, basically, voicemail is just kind of like a song that's kind of like a love song that I had my girlfriend in mind. And it's like, um, I looked at it from a theoretical perspective where me and her are kind of separated for a bit and I'm hoping that she's doing okay. So I try to call her, see how she's doing. And it didn't go through. So I have to leave a voicemail and I hope she receives the voicemail. That's pretty much what the whole song's about. So that was voicemail. It's pretty short, but it's pretty catchy in my opinion. So then we got Losing My Grip, which is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I'm really excited to release this one. It has a nice break in vibe in my opinion. And I'll get into like the meaning of it after I'm done with this. So let's get into that. Oh, I've tried. So losing my grip is pretty much just about losing your grip. You're losing your sanity. And um, that's why in the chorus, I literally say, um, I'm starting to lose my grip. I'm trying to figure out what I'm all about. It's basically me losing myself of humanity and trying to figure out what to do while I'm losing my posture, my grip, everything like that. It's basically just like one of those kind of songs. Uh, when it comes to this song, I definitely got to do some volume control and I got to add some ad-libs because the beat is quite loud compared to the vocals right now, but it won't be later. Uh, so next up, we got I Don't Know What's Real Anymore. I do like this one. Um, I think it's very catchy and it does need some volume control. So the beat is a little loud, but just try to get through that because like I said, by the time the album gets released by the end of the month, it should be no big deal. So let's get started with that. So yeah, basically, I don't know what's real anymore is kind of like, it's kind of like a sequel to losing my grip because it's me going further down that negative rabbit hole. And, um, it's basically like me losing myself of my sense of humanity and I'm starting to like lose my grip so much to the point of me not knowing what's real anymore. That's pretty much what this whole song's about. Uh, it definitely needs some stuff. Seasonal depression is so far. God dang it. I knew Band Labs was going to do it again soon. Oh my goodness. <sighs> hold on, YouTube. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
There we go. Seasonal Depression. So this is my personal favorite so far from the album that's coming out. Definitely needs volume control, once again, just like the majority of other ones so far created. Um, it is a basically talking about a real thing that I deal with about me being um, depressed around like the colder like months of the years. Because I do deal with seasonal depression, and I do hate it. I think it's definitely a hurdle I gotta jump over, and hopefully with my medication and things, it'll be a lot easier to deal with, but it's still, like, how I felt going forward throughout the past, like, five, like, eight years or so. So I've been getting seasonally depressed a lot. That's what this song's about, so I'm gonna show you guys this. Don't believe in the But yeah, I do really like how Seasonal Depression sounds. I think it might be one of the best tracks I've made. And I really look forward to getting this one out. Um, but yeah, definitely needs volume control, ad-libs, etc. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And the final one I'm going to be showing you guys today is Might As Well Die Oh Well. Which, yes, the title is very depressing. The song is basically about me and the deepest thoughts that I have in my mind when I do feel depressed and down. And this is how I felt basically all year when I was struggling with addiction and this and that vice versa or whatever you call it right uh this is basically about how I felt and this is a remake from a song because the original version uh was being made in February and um I decided not to finish it because I just didn't like how it sounded but I think this version is arguably better so I'm going to give you all a sneak peek of like the first part of the chorus, because even though the first like minute is long and very quiet, like if you hear this, right? I don't want to be alive. I'm suffering inside. Yeah, that's like basically that. But if we skip here, this is where the drop comes in. And this song is definitely heavy. I definitely put a lot of my emotion into it and just like, Tried to speak on how I feel. I'm trying so hard. Fuck a lot of problems. I don't care if you were done with me. Treating me like shit, throwing me off the balcony. There's some anxiety. Also, do unironically want to show you guys the ending because the ending is fucking insane. Real quick, I know it's more than just a small preview, but I, I do want to show this because I was so proud of how this part came out. Yeah, really excited for that one to release. Yes, it is very depressing, but the reason that it's being made is to simply show uh, when I'm at really low points in my life, it's basically a perfect description on how I'm feeling as a human being. And that's how I definitely felt going through a lot of the drama because I've definitely started, uh, or I haven't, I don't think I started as much as I'm assuming, but I've definitely started drama from time to time, either unintentionally or or simply because I've had enough of situations. And that's definitely how I felt a lot. Luckily, I'm starting to bounce back and I'm starting to feel a lot better. So you got previews of seven songs that are coming out in the album. And there's going to be 13. There's going to be a few more that's created. And um, 
I'm looking forward to getting the album out there. I really hope a lot of people like it because I'm putting a ton of effort into it. And that's all I really got to say for this. So if you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, dislike. It's completely fine either way. I really do not mind because it's your guys' choice at the end of the day. Uh, but yeah, uh, make sure to check out the Discord server in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Fuck on lie, I can't even make it perfect timing